Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Libra. And if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you'd like to do. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So let's take a look Libra at your week ahead. Calling in your angels, your guides, Spirit and Source Energy for Libra. Just be patient a moment as I draw the cards for you. And this is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. This is where you're at currently, what is below you, behind you, above you, and coming in towards you. So let's take a look at your first message. We have released, this is the death energy here, so you may be dealing with a Scorpio Libra. But what I'm actually being told from Spirit is that this is a very powerful week for you. A really powerful week for you to increase your abundance, increase the abundance of or in a particular area of your life because once you let go of a situation once you close that chapter off you're going to allow the energy to flow much better in your life in this area that you've been wanting to improve and so spirit is saying that you can increase your abundance now but it does come with you having to release the old having to release perhaps an old idea a person from your life changing things around this can be a painful process because perhaps you are comfortable and i am seeing that for some of you you're comfortable doing the routine that you're in you're comfortable with who you're associating with but something needs to change here libra and that's how you're going to get your payday that's how you're going to be moving into more abundance for you and how you will be able to expand beyond your wildest imagination now this card says the end of a phase or situation something is coming to an end here you will either know it uh, most of you will know it or perhaps you're not just there yet but you have an intuition that it's on the way that may be the case spiritual transformation there is going to be a definite transformation once this energy is released and time to move on it is time to move on libra you definitely need to move on if you really want to have this wonderful abundance that i can see just waiting there for you it is just waiting just on the horizon for you but these changes need to happen first and that's what this week is about it's about recognizing what needs to be released so then you can open up to these new possibilities let's take a look at your next message the answer is maybe things are not fixed okay when this card comes up it means that things are not fixed it means that you still have a chance to bring through the abundance and the manifestation that you want okay so if you are in the mindset at the moment or you're feeling that things are not going to change you can't release this person or this this thing that's been holding you back spirit is saying that you can it is not fixed in stone you can change so you can have this wonderful increase in your life the one that you've been looking for the change in circumstances you've been looking for you can definitely move toward this and it says the angels acknowledge your question but are unable to give you a definite answer at this time so that means that it's flexible here the outcome is flexible you can you can turn this into a positive for you authenticity beautiful energy of course you being in alignment is so important in this process because if you're not in alignment then it is going to be more challenging for you to release this person or this thing in your life it could be a job it could be it's just something that doesn't feel that it's right for you anymore that's it, perhaps it did at some point in your past but not anymore libra not anymore and you may be holding on to it for security or comfort perhaps it's not a complete letting go perhaps it's a changing of the dynamics in the relationship or changing of um the rela the relationship or the i'm feeling if it's in a, the workplace i'm feeling a changing and perhaps not leaving the workplace completely perhaps there's a change in your mindset or a change in the way that you do things 
Um, perhaps it's a sideways move where you're moving sideways into a different department but not leaving the whole company. For some of you, I feel it's like that. And for others, it is a complete release. It's completely gone. It's finished. And that's what needs to happen. And it says here, the energy of authenticity supports our choice to be genuine and truthful in all aspects of our lives with others as well as with ourselves. Most importantly, as well as with ourselves. Okay, so, so Libra, that's how you're going to get this wonderful energy that I'm feeling for you. It's being authentic with others. Yes, but with yourself first and foremost. Be in your power. This is you being in your power. Being authentic in nature, vacation. And it says, take time for relaxation and adventure. Some of you may be planning a vacation, a holiday, or just travel. I'm also seeing that this is important. This is a freedom aspect coming into play here. So there's freedom. There is um, a necessary, maybe a necessary risk. Maybe moving into the unknown is what's holding you back. And if that's the case, Libra, Spirit is saying that you'll feel more relaxed. You'll feel like you're more inspired if you do take this jump, if you go into the unknown in this way. Of course, plan as much as you can, but some things will remain unknown and that's completely okay. Spirit is still encouraging you to make this leap. We have the Ten of Cups. Something is coming to an end here. Perhaps it's been with family. The Ten of Cups can indicate a family unit or something happening with a family member or a close friend. The energy here is one of completion, of feeling satisfied with where things are at. But again, you're wanting more freedom or you're wanting to move more into um, a different energy, um, an energy which really supports your growth and development. And there's definitely been a choice here, a decision-making process. The Two of Pentacles means that you've been perhaps juggling a lot of different energies, emotions, thoughts, feelings about a particular person or subject. And leading up to the present moment, you have been, it's been a bit topsy-turvy. You haven't known what to do, really. And I can see that. So perhaps you've stayed or perhaps things haven't changed because you've had this uncertainty around this this transformation that's that's needs to happen we have the moon energy behind you so you may be dealing with a pisces now the moon indicates that there has been confusion and i feel the confusions come because there hasn't been any action taken you've been or perhaps it's vice versa another person has been deciding what they want to do um, in a relationship with you and this has been very confusing this can indicate that emotions run deep as well. So your emotions have been recently, you know, perhaps a bit tumultuous. Okay. And I'm feeling that that's all part of this releasing process, having to go through this process to then release and bring in the newness and the abundance that you want, that you deserve. And here we have you leaving. So this energy is coming up for some of you. It's around others already. The Seven of Swords mean, means that, you know, there's a, there's a leaving of a situation. You're leaving with your knowledge, your heart, you're leaving, okay? You're not holding on anymore. You recognize it has, you have to go. And there's also an energy here of keeping things on the down low. So perhaps, you know, if it's a work environment, you don't have to tell everyone straight away. Keep it to yourself as much as possible, this type of energy. Um, and then secretly kind of just move along and, and, and move away and only tell others when you have to because perhaps it will cause more drama. Perhaps it's going to upset the apple cart if you do. This can mean that you're finding out some information as well. Perhaps someone in your life has been sneaky. They have not been completely honest and open with you and you thought that things were okay because of the Ten of Cups but you recognize here there has been some activities or withholding information from you which has been underhanded in some way or at least just kept from you and we have the hierophant energy yes this is perfect libra because the hierophant indicates your values your beliefs 
what is moral and right, what is authentic to you, okay, you're taking back that power, you're taking back that control as the hierophant, and you're standing beyond the drama, you're standing beyond an organization perhaps that doesn't fit or align with you anymore or a situation or a relationship that doesn't fit and align within with you anymore and you're putting a stop to that and you're fully in alignment and centered and authentic and that's so powerful for you to bring through this abundance I'm seeing for you that increase that payday whether it's material or otherwise is just waiting for you um, to just reach out and grab it's just going to take a little bit of a process that I've outlined here that Spirit's brought through and then it's going to come through to you. So a really beautiful read for you, Libra. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.